Welcome back to the show. You are listening to Totally Irish here on 98FM. Our number, as always, if you want to text in, is 53981. And with me in the studio now is Shane Prunty and on the phone, Gabes Maguire. Shane, how are you getting on? Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm delighted to have Gabes on the line here. Me too. Gabes, how's the weekend been? Uh, the weekend has been fantastic, John. Yeah, I can't complain. It has. It's been pretty good, lads, because we had a great time on Friday night in the Lirith Hotel in Kilkenny at the PPI Radio Awards. Totally Irish was, of course, up for one of the Music Programming Awards, which was for Best New Irish Music Musical Talent Programme. Now, lads, we didn't win, but we still had a good night, didn't we, Shane? We, uh, well, we came fourth, didn't we? Is that what we agreed on? Was it not fifth? I think it was fourth. Okay, we'll take fourth. Yeah, it was pretty good, Gabes. It was. I, I thought we weren't going to admit to people that we came for it. We were just going to say we were nominated, and it sounds better that way. Or we were just going to say we didn't win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We were there, but, you know, delighted to be nominated. You know, put on that whole kind of post-Oscar, didn't win, but it's still great kind of thing. What do you say, how many people, Gabe, has actually come up to you and said, you know, it's just, it, it, you know, it's great to be nominated, or, you know, it's such an honour to be nominated? Well, I mean, I suppose they're right, like, but at the same time, you do feel disappointed when they go to your category and you're read out as the nominee and then you don't win. Like, I, I think it's totally natural. I thought you reacted a bit like Julia Roberts or something, Gabe. <laughs> like, you were, you were you're kind of in tears, but you were, you were looking over at the other nominees and you were, there was a bit of a kind of bitterness in your eye. Yeah. I didn't want to say anything at, at the time because I thought you might just explode and uh, yeah. I would have to deal with all that, uh, that grief, you I know. But I did notice that as well. Can I just say at this point, what happened to the whole, what happens at the PPI stays at the PPI's? You're letting out all the secrets now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Listen, <laughs> you said that, you just said that. Yeah, no, none of us ever agreed to that. Congratulations to Colm O'Sullivan and his show Transmission, um, which won the overall award. The station itself, lads, 98FM, did pretty good on the night. We won Best Breakfast Programme at Dermot and Dave and Best Station Imaging Award. But, uh, I, uh, lads, it was just, it was great to mingle with the biggest radio stars of, of Irish radio. Gabe's at, at one point I saw you talking to Michelle Doherty. Yeah, yeah, and uh, she explained to a little group of people that she just pronounced her name Michelle Doherty as opposed to Michelle Doherty. Yeah. Uh, there was some confusion over that. I'm not quite sure who in the group thought her name was Michelle Doherty, <laughs> but uh, she put it in no uncertain terms, it is Doherty. So, you know, yeah. just in case there's any confusion out there, Michelle Doherty has personally told me that her name <laughs> is Doherty and not Doherty. Gabes, you really need to work on your, your chat-up lines. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shane, what are your memories of the night? Or do you have any memories of the night? I have one <laughs> solid, clear memory, yeah, of, uh, of uh, what was it again? Oh, wait, it'll come back to me now. I did have one memory, yeah, <laughs> definitely. It could be gone. I think it was, uh, I think it was maybe um, uh, uh, just just the arrival of Pat Kenny. I was a bit taken aback by just how, uh, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, you, you witness these people on TV and you hear them on the radio and they're, they're put on these pedestals. But, uh, you know, Pat, Ken Pat Kenny, it was... It was pretty special seeing him walking into a room, you know. I thought that was just like a strikingly handsome man. He, he seemed to have every, everyone, men and women around him, just kind of fawning over him. Yeah. So I was impressed by his just his presence, you know. He's good in the dance floor as well, Prince, isn't he? He is. Well, I, I, at one point I found myself and Pat Kenny were kind of doing this synchronised robot, you know, kind of spaghetti arms. He tapped me and it just, just this <laughs> fluid movement. Like, I think he was trying to say that it was like a, a 90 megahertz radio wave passing through. I don't know what he was talking <laughs> no. about. but uh, Gabe's, yeah, it's funny you should mention the dance floor there because my, my highlight of the night would be Prunty doing air guitar in the dance floor. You know, he had his eyes closed, the sweat was pumping off him, he was really getting into it. At one point, Gabe's, I actually saw him tuning the guitar up. I know, he, he really takes his air guitar seriously. Um, it's pretty we didn't get a clip for that for the website, you know. Yeah. I know, uh, yeah, I broke kind of footage it. That maybe they have some CCTV or something we could get out. <laughs> like, that's the kind of footage the world needs to, to witness. It'd be a YouTube sensation. I actually broke a string, Gabe. Do you remember that? <laughs> you did, but you carried know. on nonetheless, James. I, ha I had to say strings. Did I, know? I thought you s I sent you off to someone in the hotel demanding <laughs> a, a, a G air guitar string. <laughs> Yes, yes, all fun and games with the PPIs. <laughs> Absolutely, lads. And we, we look forward to obviously being nominated and hopefully winning last year. Um, listen, we're going to continue on with the music here in the show. This is Cast the Cheers with I Am Line. <laughs> 